So, our bad for being late. We were ill-prepared. We were all working. But what we do is we Ryan, have a... Ryan was working. Right, I was working. Well, other, other Ryan... Other Ryan was being a good... I was going to say a big brother, but you're the younger brother. You're the younger brother. Uh, you got... You, you, yeah, you, can, you don't need the mic. So, essentially... Quan Chi, get the hell out of this room. Quan, Quan Flick, no Quan Chi downplay. Get the hell out of this room. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, we didn't really plan so, on what we'd be so, going over today. So, yeah, so we, we would normally have this giant script of things to talk about that we simply did not prepare because we're lazy old fuckers. Um, not, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. If you said same, you do? I was about, oh, about to say you're like 14, so not same. We're too old to know this young hip lingo. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You know this dude actually didn't know who Run DMC was? You didn't know who Run what? DMC was? What? This is going to be a topic on our next podcast. <laughs> what? He got called, he said, Are you the new dragon? Run DMC, and he had no idea who that was. Alright, so now the music's off. I don't even know if we need these microphones. I'm loud enough. Anyways, I mean, for everyone I mean, in the back. give it to one of them. Talk about so what what we do is we have a podcast covering the competitive Mortal Kombat 11 scene that we do sometimes every other Monday on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Mr. Aquaman. I said sometimes the plug to Mr. Aquaman, Aquaman, because Aquaman. life gets in the way. We sometimes miss a Monday or seven. It happens. Seven. It happens. We've definitely missed. We've definitely missed. Missed. We've definitely missed. We've definitely missed. We've missed. We've literally missed one. Oh, okay. Or or two. Or seven. Because, I'll, I'll give, I'll give because Jer was partying in Canada. It was Canada. Oh yeah, it was Canada Day or some shit. Oh no, it was some stuff. <laughs> that's that's yeah, whatever. Imagine not knowing. Yeah. Bro, imagine caring about fucking Canada Day. Who gives a shit? It was your holiday. Day. Hell, hell, hell yeah, yeah. hell yeah, brother. We don't care about July Fourth. Imagine caring about July Fourth. Whoa! <laughs> it's a defense day. You're a little bit surrounded there, champ. Oh. Surrounded by Americans. I'm very scared. You're surrounded by Americans and one Quan Chi down player. <laughs> oh, I wonder who that is. <laughs> Who's clearly you walked into the wrong fucking room, buddy. Who's clearly Just want to let you know, Connor. I love you. Last. We're wolves. Hey, hey, what's in that flask? It says just water. What flask? <laughs> you know, we're, you need to share with us because we normally drink when we do this podcast. We do. So, so what we do is we normally go over pretty much everything that happens within a two to three week span of the competitive Mortal Kombat scene, going over each and every single event, results, um, any drama happening in the scene, if someone called someone else a bitch. Um, we, have we have we had that recently? I feel like I feel like there's something that we're missing. Well, not somebody not calling exactly, somebody a bitch, but like not really drama, but like there's been stuff going on with like who's getting invited to Ely, who's not getting invited. Yeah, it was not getting invited. I know Tom Brady's like, like really upset about it. It's crazy. Also, it's crazy. also, also breaking news is that I I clipped Paulo in the Ely chat saying, "Where's Tom Brady?" Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so I had that saved for He's the okay, for the next like episode. The he really is. Um, but so. they actually love him there. Like, legitimately, when I worked there, Nick Nicastro would always be in Tom Brady's streams. He loves Tom Brady. Like, he's like a one call away. That's because Brady's streams is either one of two ways. It's either amazing or it's an absolute disaster. Because it depends on how he's feeling. Now. It's, it's, I can it's, say that because I'm this is, this is Tom Brady. He's doing like a beautiful chemist in the lab, right? Or it's a train wreck of, like, you. the moment that you pull up the stream, it's... I can't do this with a microphone. Man! That's the first thing you hear when you, when you, when you go to Tom Brady's stream. Well, right? that or something about Ely. Yeah, it, it's more about Man! Like zero. Oh, gee, they didn't get Tom Brady. No, Tom, you know, you know Tom Brady. Like yeah, like, Tom Brady's the, you know. He, he's an interesting character. But, you guys know him, but. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so that's kind of the style of drama that, drama that But it's like, it's like one of those things, like, where some of us, like, like, I was even salty, like, once, but I, I was, like, over it, like, the second, like, 
Like it's like one of those things. Like there, a lot of people. We all like, get Jared, salty. like Jared hasn't been on it, and Jared. I suck at this game though. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, like. That's facts. Keep that same energy like, tomorrow. By but, the way. but here's the thing. Like there, there's a lot of people that haven't been on there yet that are like really good, and that's like the thing that you got to look at. Yeah. Right? And you can't just be like, oh, I didn't pick. Like they didn't pick me. Like they didn't pick a lot of people. So like. They didn't whatever. pick me yet. Huh? Huh? Imagine picking you. Imagine I just want that, that counting. Imagine wanting to watch a Cole Con movie. I don't know. But can we Did you just see what's happening? No, actually, out there? That's what we're Wait a minute. Talk about Furious Pill. Wait, can we talk about that maybe? Uh, 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 I kind of want to talk about it. No. Ra random topic. This is going to happen live. Furious Pill. Go. Yeah, so. Oh shit. I'm going to burn. Not, not one person expected Hayate to lose to a Cole player. Right. Like that uh, no. was not happening in happen. any fucking multiverse out there. That was not happening. No, multiverses are meant to be different. Stay well, not okay, too. still wasn't happening. Kind of right. So, what's your opinion on Cordal now? All right. So I casted the match and I walked away with this feeling of I don't have a different opinion of Cordalon after that match. I have a different opinion of Furious Pillow, who played perfectly. I am still. Looking, I'm replaying in my mind that match, looking for something wrong that he did. <coughs> and I walked up to him and I went, fuck you for not find, giving me something to bitch about. Because he, he, he did everything right, and I can't be mad about that. He got away with a lot, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I'd say... Not terrible. Okay. If I can say from uh, like an outside perspective, like even though Kodal's low tier AF... The worst. Yeah. He does have good spacing. So if like somebody like maybe doesn't have that experience because they don't see that many, I can see how that could fuck them up. Yeah. He, what was great is that he didn't. He didn't Even do anything. a really good player like Kayate. He didn't overcommit ever, which is great with Kodo Khan. So if you commit past almost any any string in his uh, arsenal past two hits, he's completely punishable. The low is punishable. Yeah. No. The low is punishable. Uh, sword. The sword is punishable. Yeah. Oh, yeah the, sword the low. Is the low sword. sword. Yeah. The, the low sword. sword. Yeah. The, 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 but there, there is that one thing. I don't even know what that is. Isn't there an unblockable? He's, then he would lose the Kodo Khan. I would not lose him. He does an unblockable. I, I play a character with a projectile. <laughs> he, he turns into a fucking panther that goes through it. It's in the right. Doesn't even pop off. You can't even punish it. Your stomach and it's a crushing blow. Anyways, so this is this is the kind of banter that we have on our podcast. Let's go ahead and bring it back full circle since we've only got ten minutes because we suck at this. No, no, no. We're 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 officially allowed to go to at least fifty if we if need be. Well, listen, I'm I'm here to help you guys out. Are you guys good? Be lazy. The next panel is Jabali, so you guys can take your time. Oh, great. So, I mean, I have been to follow us lifting, up. I feel bad for him. I've been lifting at the gym. I know he has healed his leg, but. Just give him an ankle lock. Yeah. I've been, I've been, I've been lifting at the gym. I'd take my shirt off if I could. You definitely can take your shirt off. But I don't think you have the shells. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't. I, sh I, I should have brought my seashell bikini top. You should have. All I know is that I Did saw you actually $7.99 wear one on those? Amazon, same day shipping. Did you actually wear one of those? TOS, by the way. Yes. You're in Twitch thought. It's fine on TOS. I am a Twitch thought. Sub to my Twitch Twitch channel. Look at the content you get. You have a picture? Twitch <laughs> Not publicly. <laughs> I think it I also have a premium Snapchat. So, I was just going to say that. Do you want a premium Snapchat? Could get that one out. I'm also looking what at are, various cam sites. What are some For some 70s porno reenactments. So, since you've been commentating all day, you've seen some good matches. What, what matches for people that made it out of their pools today are you looking forward to potentially happening tomorrow? Oh man, I have to reload the bracket in order to really. We can. I'll I'll bring that up while we. Do you want me to yes. give you the actual match? Do you want, match? The, you you want, want the, the actual match? Answer. Yeah, go for it. Okay, it's us. We fight first round. Oh great! Sure. Yeah. Good luck and against Sentinel. Maybe a battle of the brothers. Wow, crazy! That's what you said about the match the we had to play to get out. What character? That was the yeah, sweat though. That was. Sweat, though. That was I can I talk about the some audience? Some of my favorite the matches. The audience to says the audience says that Sentinel is garbage. Who said that? He said that. That's the Quan Chi player. How are you getting open up on Centrion? Just block lower. How are you getting open up on Centrion? He also calls her Centrion. Why do you call her Centrion? No, I said Centrion. You said Centrion. I definitely said Centrion. for honor. Okay, it might be the Is this Carl Sen guy that said, how do you get open up by Quan Chi with 90 mix ups? We had no video last year talking about Quan Chi. Free patch summer, by the way. I didn't know, I didn't say that. I said the character had very shitty defense. You're an idiot. Who let 
<laughs> All you do is hit them wow. one time and they get Chernobyled into the ground. I may not hit them, then I can't play the Bro, game. Bro, you have a one I, frame mix up. I'm sorry, that you can't hit somebody? I mean, that's not my fault. That's not Paul's fault. I might make a bad read and I have to eat pressure at all again. What am I going to do? Down one? Oh, plus three. Everything is safe. Oh my goodness. Can we talk about Chris Jeeper's rewind? Yes. Okay, so I wanted to turn that question. I want to hear about this one because I missed that. And so so what I wanted to bring it full circle and then talk about the podcast is that our podcast has unique views of a lot of old guys and a young girl. Wow. You're like the youngest one here. I'm really not. You're 26. No! I'm old. I'm, I'm just not I'm older, older than the rest of you. Yeah. I'm only, I'm only, I'm only... I look 40 only, though. Don't, don't, don't be spreading that around. I'm probably okay. only three years into the scene, All right, but... But, 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 but that, that's where I'm getting at. was a lot of people's first time to come into the scene. That's right. That's what I'm getting at, is that, is that, so like, we have a lot of views of like MK9 and Injustice 1. And then she has to have a lot of great views of MKX and on, and uh, that's, so, so that's, a good, that's a good mix. And I can and, also and, and give just a good just, perspective of being an, a casual on MK9 and just this one. There you go. Yeah. And, and also, she gives a completely different uh, viewpoint regardless, because I don't have a vagina. Is that how that works? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, thank, thank you. Thank you for not having a vagina. I'm not. Yeah, I mean, that's what I said. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Applause. Applause. We're clapping for him. For I appreciate it. And so before that, we were talking now you're a man, a man, but, man, man, man. But yeah, so, so there's, a lot, there's a lot of great perspectives on the, on the show when it comes to all the topics that we cover. Um, and one of them being like all these matches that we see, you know, a lot of us have a lot of, like, we're going to bring up Christie versus Rewind. We have views of Christy going way back into the ancient prehistoric era of, Early of Mortal Kombat, Kombat 9, which was about 2012, 2013. 2011. I'm, I'm gonna end 2011, 2012. Well, then even I think, come on, man. Even then, he was playing MK games competitively before that. He was. Uh, he was old so school, like MK trilogy and everything else like that. And, and then, so for you, you know of Christie in the NRS scene in MKX. He, got, he was kind of free. He got bodied well, all the time in Justice Two. I know. Of. I know about him from two. Like since Injustice Two was the first game I worked on, he was one of the people that came in and tested. Ooh, and see, that was like a, see, we wouldn't have known this without him. That was like a, a repeat thing. Like he, uh, I guess he'd like come in there before for like other games to like test them. Well, but um, the only thing I really remember from interacting with him is hearing about he was like a really picky eater. He like he, he like. He likes bread and cheese. Anything with bread and cheese, like that's it. Like, like mad fries, mad cheese fries. Fries are hella good. How do you yeah. stay that small? Maybe, Maybe he has a really fast metabolism, dude. Yeah. Things are like that in New York, I guess. I mean, I guess if you're having I don't know. pizza, like New York style pizza and French fries, you stay that small. It's good on good on you, I yeah. guess. So, You're but anyways. Fries, right? So back back in the day, in MK9 and in, 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 in Justice One, he was a very very strong. Another own competitor. Yeah, I mean, talking multiple top eight uh, in MK9, almost every top eight in yeah. MK9. I, I've never beat Christian tournament. Okay, I, I've never beat Christian tournament, and I've played in three, two in ours games six times. I think I've only come I suck, so keep that in mind. Time, but at, I was at like some EGP local right before Evo in 2015. It's the only time I've ever seen him in tournament. Yeah, that's it. I beat him. Yeah, okay. With Jason, back when Jason was like okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Look. But did Christy, did Christy, in MKX, did he have a lot of placings? No. I think he had, no, he definitely had one. He had like one early. He had the beginning of the game. So he had like one early Texas showdown top eight with ancestral from Gil. Because he, well, he was playing reptile at the time as well. Late. Later. Yeah. Was it later? Oh, probably. Because I, I remember seeing him on day one ancestral from Gil. Because like, oh, this is like Green Arrow. And it was That was a quick wake up call. That character yeah. was terrible. So, 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 anyways, to get back to Rewind versus Chris G, we're, I don't think that we're surprised Chris G beat him. I'm not. I, mean, I, need, I need to hear why. Because I didn't really get to see it. Jax and then. It was Jax, Jax starting Steven. off, and then he went to a Scorpion Mirror, yeah. and then Jax, lost one. Scorpion Mirror. You guys can hear me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm I just want to know. I just want to know how that match went. I didn't get to watch. I was watching okay, the match, so and I heard Scorpion. he lost. No one saw. So Chris G is playing Scorpion. So, so, so yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you exactly how it is. Chris G literally outfootsy our boy. Like it was nuts. That Jax got absolutely obliterated. He's, I mean, he's a footsie god. He's an actual footsie yeah. god, and this is a footsie oriented yeah. Nether Realm game. 
And with Scorpion, he was hit and block confirming everything, block confirming everything in the teleport away. And then the space that he built with that, he was just nuking our boy with back one, everything, and with his movement. Uh, he was shimmying him. It was insane how well he played. It was Scorpion. He almost lost, but rewind through it like three times in a row. He missed like three punishes in a row. It's just, it's just weird. Mirror, like, 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 even did, 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 did any of you watch Rewind versus uh, Christy? Oh, okay. Dang, all of you missed it. Scorpion players. Our boy got killed. Adderall. That's that's island. our current Evo champion. That's our current Evo champion. Yeah, that's really. And so for, for for guys like us, Chris G, we look back and we go, man, that used to be an apex player in our scene. Yeah. Like for like to, to see that and to remember that and to uh, apply that to this game, uh, because even when we talked early on, with, there was a lot of drama with Chris G in the summit of time, and he hates our scene. He's never gonna play again. He comes in and kills our Evo champion. <laughs> um, we knew and we talked about, you know, a lot of us in the scene talked like, man, Christy's such a good player, we'd love to see him keep playing. And in this game in particular, could really succeed with the fundamentals that he has yeah. carrying over. Sure. Case in point, the match that happened. I, I wonder exactly. what the fallout's going to be like that, because there was a lot of drama leading up to Scorpion and like, you know, how good of a character that he was. And now Christy's playing him when apparently the scene turned their back on him, which isn't true. But that's that was the drama back then. We also covered that on our podcast where we, it, it was bad. Yeah, we actually got to blow up Christian on our podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was kind of like justified a little bit, yeah, right? Totally. Like, yeah. But yeah. now he comes back after saying he was never going to play, beats our current Evo champion. Like, what, what's like, is there, is there going to be anything else coming up after that, like as far as Fallout goes? No. There has to be. Like, what? if I'm Chris G, I'm definitely going to say something. He's not going to say shit. It's it's a lose lose scenario if he says something. Okay, explain. Well, he says How's anything. He, what do you mean? If he says anything at all, people are just gonna blow up. Oh, rewind is having a bad day. Oh, rewind mirrored him. Oh, come on. Have you been to Twitter.com and looked at any NRS player that isn't like a top or competitive player? And they're like, well, you know, so, the, the wind crazy. wasn't in his direction that day. So that's what, what mute buttons for, man. Oh. <laughs> That's all I know. I don't know. I thought. I don't uh, now, know. now I, I could definitely see uh, potential him coming out and saying, "Well, first off, Christie for the past previous multiple titles has gone. You know, oh, I split it for fun, and uh, I I don't see him using that against us. But I wouldn't be surprised if yeah, that's right. I think that's what I was saying. Like, I just wouldn't be surprised if he came out and said something because rewind alone, like between all these placements, even like not counting Evo, that's also a so that's a it's a big scout. Like, it's a huge yeah. scout. To have. That's also a separate conversation that Rain One took. I want to. I want to chime in. Okay. I. So this might be a hot take, but I am not. I am not like a, a. I'm not not a fan, but I'm not like a fan. I'm like neutral with, this, not a with fan. the with the with the Chris G thing. Like I speak a little I I don't have a problem. No, I no I don't have a problem. With him. Um, and and from my perspective, I I think he I think he took defending himself a little too far. But I think he was mainly on the defensive because he, I think he felt attacked when all that stuff went down, especially by Tweety, who like he didn't really, I don't think like they really knew each other. But then like he came after him or whatever, like with the with the responses, and then like a bunch of other people were like tweeting about him that like you know came out of nowhere during this, and uh, it was like digging up old stuff, and it it I think it made him just go kind of nuts though with like what he said instead of like thinking it through. And uh, I, I think that, I, I don't think that he's gonna throw something like beating Rewind in our faces unless we say something first. I don't, I don't think it's gonna be like a stink. Yeah. Again, that might be a hot take, but like I, I don't, I just don't, I don't see it being a stink. Does that make sense? Kind of. I'm sorry. On the other end, if he did throw it in our faces, I'd love it. <laughs> yeah. That sure would be mad, I mean, I mean, cool. That would be mad is, funny, actually. It is. Bragging rights, I guess, being our Evo champion, yeah, that's but really it's like, I'm, saying. I'm not saying yeah. he's gonna put the scene off last, but yeah. that is definitely like if I be rewind, I'm gonna do that. Okay, but well, he, what, what he, he is like, like if, if like you even look at the past and like Injustice One was before my competitive time in the scene. It was like during my casual time with NRS games, and I look back to it, like records and stuff, and obviously like he was somebody who was obviously always doing work with Green Arrow back then. Yeah. So he's shown. Well, yeah. Didn't he play? Didn't, didn't, didn't he place? Didn't he place at Evo with Injustice One? 
Uh, I don't remember. But I did go to that I scene. Got an email I was drunk. I have no clue. I, I hated that game, so. But uh, <laughs> I, I want to say, even though I wasn't there, I want to say he did get an Eva Medal when I just used one. But regardless, like, I think he cares to an extent about our games. I think it's just like, I think that's why, like, he got all extra defensive when that stuff came down. Yeah, so. Um, I know him personally, especially going back to, to, the, to the early games, and I've had multiple conversations with him, and that's why I, I hopped on his defense to when it all happened, because um, having talked with him after playing our game, meeting him in person, um, I've seen him personally get up from uh, getting a win in, in Injustice 1 or MKX, I can't remember which game it was, but he got up, he really turned around, and I asked him, like, I'm like, hey man, that was a good win, and he goes, dude, no other games make me feel better like in, uh, at winning at than NRS games for some reason. Yeah, he's and, he, and he talked about how much he loves uh, the games and how much he loves winning in the games and uh, all that fun stuff. And so uh, that's, I think, part of why he got so offensive when yeah. he got attacked. Know, it, it, we just went on for like 20 minutes about a topic that you guys might not have any idea about. You guys know about all the drama on Twitter with Christian and they probably have no clue. Nice. Some have no clue. All right, drama, 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 drama. And that, that's part of the podcast is we cover the drama in our particular scene. And that was definitely among it. But no, Christian definitely did get defensive. Um, but I think that him showing that he's competing again after saying he's not is a really good sign. And yeah, I, don't sure. think, I don't think that he would try to use that against us. Okay. So I think something, I think something good to go, I think something good to like maybe go over too since we talked about that match is I'm looking at like top 96. Oh, that's cool. And uh, the first match that I see on here is going to be a good one. We have Silver Rye versus the Oxus. All right, I got 30 on Deoxys. Who likes it? Me. <laughs> Chris was immediate yeah. with that. I actually legit think right now. All right, that's... You have 30 on Rye? That's dinner for me? You want to... I've already taken your state's money in triple digits a month ago. Do you want to you double down on, on my dinners this weekend? Why would I give you dinner money? Just, you're going to bet against Deoxys? So, so Deoxys versus Rye. Rye just picked up, I know. I don't know, man. I kind of like Rye in that. I like Ryan too. I, I like Ryan. Man. I'm a Texas boy, so Deoxys all the way. Oh, of course. So, so, so this is part of part of the podcast that we would, would go over brackets and tournaments coming up. I, I'm trying to make this an actual panel rather than us just talking to Breeze, talking about shit. Yeah. yeah. No, like I mean, it's it's our podcast. They're, yeah. They're, That's what we do is we just talk about shit. It's not it's not going to be internet. free either way. It's yeah. not going to be free either way. Well, I, I, I agree. I got Rye taken Ten. as you want. It's just top 96 in general is a fucking bloodbath. Dude, like, the matches out of top 96 look like disgusting. Top eight. All the winners' all matches are like scary. They're all for that like, could be for top eight in a normal day. We're not even have the full thing. Yeah. We're not even <laughs> have the full thing until like after tomorrow morning. Yeah, too, exactly. I, I, I myself and, and other people have pools at 10 tomorrow. And then even later tonight, so. there's another block at eight. Yeah, eight o'clock. Wait, hold up. Okay, wait. do you want to talk about something really quick that you just reminded me of? So. Um, for those who don't know, there's a person in the scene named Perfect Legend who never travels. Please, let's talk about it. But he decided to come to this tournament, and he just so happens to be in the same pool as Lurfect Pageant, aka a foxy grandpa. Yep. And that shit is going to be a Kung Lao Ma. I don't think it is. Coming, I, think, coming, I think it's going to be a timeline where neither of them are playing Kung Lao. Perfect Legend on Twitter saying that I think Fox is out for blood. No, he's Perfect the Legend on Twitter, word for word, said, I am the... What was it? Actually, I, so not word forward. <laughs> it was just he was just pretty much saying that he, he is the he, no, no, he, he said, I am the authority on Kung Lao and MK11. Word for word. And then Foxy obviously. Maybe. That was right after I think it was either right after or right before Foxy won that tournament with Kung Lao. It right? was before. It was right before it. Yeah. Then, right? And then ever since then, then they haven't really gone back and forth because like and, it takes two and people. I, I knew Foxy was like I don't know. I'm, out, I'm willing to bet money that Foxy goes Cassie. I'm willing to bet money. He might. I mean, it's a good matchup for Cassie. Who is PL going? I have no idea. Scorpion. I have, I have, I have Scorpion. Scorpion. He's playing Scorpion. Yeah. Oh. I have no idea. I've gone to his stream a million times. I've seen Deborah and Collector 50% of the time. I so uh, don't know what that is. Someone came into my Twitch chat and said, you stupid bastards, I don't know, he, he probably said something like that, aren't ready for PL's Collector at CEO. What? Nothing in that sentence makes sense to me. And then I took out my wallet and I went, let's, <laughs> let's go. I'm ready, buddy. Uh, all my cash in here is decided to get to be all at this tournament. I like this one, too. Sa Sakharov versus Anbu Get Wrecked. 
Well, that can actually go either way. Well, Get Wrecked got upset because oh, Sakura put him in Sakura. Uh, Sakura. I was like, Ooh. No, no. So, so there's a joke where, like, at Evo 2016, Costner kept telling us uh, th that Sakura. somebody Sakura, dude. Because of his accent. <laughs> He's like, He's oh, oh, Sa Sakura. Oh, and we're, no. But he was purposely trying to make it sound like Sakura. <laughs> now, I, I don't know. I, I don't. He was a real person. This is a, so Zach Robb Rob versus Zach Robb. Right. That's the guy that was in my pool. That's the guy that almost, almost yeah. scalped you. It was too over. It was close. Yeah. And it's Garrett. Dude, he opens you up once. You're dead. I mean, it's over. The game is over. Uh -huh. Andrew, Andrew, get wrecked. He plays Scorpion. He and, plays Scorpion. He lost to Rashawn, who played yeah. Collector against him. Did, didn't you use Collector in that That's matchup? I heard. I heard it was Kung Lao. And then Can anybody correct us? It was 2 1. I know it was at least. I'm, I'm counting on you guys. It was, no, it was Kung Lao and then Kung You're supposed to be Twitch chat right now. Dude, I know what it is. They're, they help me out in these situations. <laughs> so, Get Red 2 is actually like one of the big favorites to, you know, actually go pretty far. 100%, especially after the online uh, results that he's been seeing lately. Yeah, he's been in top 8s, top 16s. Like, pretty eights. consistent with it. Yep. CGL, Combat Cup. Right, that's the one. And then Rashawn comes out of nowhere with Kung Lao. Apparently he won the first one and then lost the second game and then switched to collector in one two one. And then that's when it was that's Rashawn versus Alcatraz, and that was a mob. Yeah, Alcatraz yeah, that's what it is. Is that a tag? No, I'm not calling oh. him by the old tag. Furious Pillow versus Beyond Toxin. Ooh. Ooh. Furious Pillow versus Beyond Toxin. Oh, wait a minute. That's okay. <laughs> Can I bring up that's a legendary cool. matchup on E League? I still won, by the way, and you guys didn't have confidence in me, so you guys all have to hold that. Wait, story. who did you play? What, in, on Ely? Yeah. Some guy named, like, Do Dr. Pump Trump or something like that. Who? He almost yeah. lost Pump the Cola. Trump? Almost. Yeah. It was almost. Some, some Wait, so you beat him, right? In Ely, yeah. You beat him in Ely. Yeah. How, does, how does Furious Pillow look compared to that dude? And how much Cola experience do you have? None. Just gonna ship me up today. Just 2 one 2 yeah, All you have to do is just Yo, use that actually, one. That's, that's actually facts, though. Listen, Cola can't beat you if he's getting hit. Wow, I mean, that's amazing. Really good. That's amazing. Good wow. Just walk. Yeah. Just walk. It's crazy. You just don't get hit. Just don't get hit, right? Easiest fighting game, the best I can get somebody. Bullshit. Yeah, don't get hit. Don't get hit. How are you not a coach instead of a coach? I'm a coach. Alright, alright. What, what if you hit a sunbeam? You stand outside a sunbeam and you throw shadow. You walk 18 years in Cole's direction and still punish him. <laughs> Next question. Is that the one that falls him around? Alright, that, that one's kind of fucked up. That one's really Alright, the one where he throws, that's kind of fucked up. If he's playing Totemic, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. Yeah, which one, which one does he even play anyways? The first, both. First. He plays both? Yeah, right. both. He has a top 8 at Combat New Jersey with just Totemic. Just win. And he broke out Ascension against uh, Hayate earlier. I still can't believe he beat him. I cannot believe he beat Alex. I've never I seen Jerk get so quiet. So I, well, so, so that's the thing about Coral Khan, and the fact that he played him perfect is that that's a perfect storm for Coral Cook and somebody. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't know the matchup and someone's I, I, I never so have to ask Hayate if he actually knew anything no, about the doesn't. matchup. He doesn't. He yeah, that's, 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 that's how you get cooked. You can literally tell, but that's that's what sucks about first two, man. You don't have yeah, a lot of time to figure You really out. don't. And and the fact that he got like a triple parry and the fatal blow for 45%. That was insane. Yeah, that was gross. Oh, no, that's a 14 frame parry stopping a bullet. What? I mean, the guy played out of his mind. Yeah, no. Like, he genuinely played. I've never heard of him. <laughs> I've never heard of them before. How about you watch locals? Yeah, yeah, of course. Support locals. Support, support locals, locals, dude. dude. Support what locals. Thank you. You're, you're telling support me. Support your locals. locals. Oh, wow. Who showed up for versus, by the way? I did. I'm calmly pulling I'm up our brackets. Well, mind you, versus only lasted for like a week. <laughs> Fuck you. That was unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys are playing each other first thing tomorrow. Top 96. Yeah. Yeah. Top 96. A battle of friends. Is, is it losers or winners' side? Winners. Winners. Okay, so. Get you still get... So these two play each other in top 96, Mortal Kombat 11, 540 plus entrant, uh, major $15,000 pop bonus plus entrance, oh. major, major points online for the entire tour. Oh, really? On top of that, freshly sponsored Big D, no sponsored jerk. Yeah, so boys. Give us your thoughts. I'm gonna mop, dude. Well, both of these characters do beat mine. First of all, oh, just, well, we'll just listen to the downplay first. Like, I, mean, OS. I mean, it's true, okay. first of all. Um, I've been housing this man a week prior to CEO, so we've also been playing nonstop. Oh my God. So, 
this, I honestly don't know. Like, no one's gonna be happy after that set. No, this shit's about to be Sub Zero versus Kung Lao. Oh, and we're rooming together this weekend, obviously. Here, so. Oh my god. And we're driving home together. It's our and sleeping on the same bed together. Okay, we could have left that one. Yeah, that's no. <laughs> But, <laughs> platonic. Smile. Smile. Thanks, Juan. So, Low? Uh, well, I don't know. I actually think the match is going to be really good, though. Like, we're going, like, no meme. It's not going to be a blowout either way. No, I don't think so. It won't happen. And even if it's 2-0, well, those games are going to be mad close. Yeah. Like, there's no way it's going to be like, oh, I got money on this person or this person, yeah. or, oh, that was, you know, a blow-up. It just, it's going to be tough. Ryan won 2 It'll be a good time, though. You know? Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. We, we made an agreement not to rub it in each other's faces, you know, for yeah. whoever wins. Nope, we're not popping off. I'm not gonna do it. If Ryan did it anyways, I would. He's gonna throw a chair. There's gonna be a chair. chair. I, would, I would swing. I would legit swing. I would let you swing. On oh, okay, that's fine. I think that chair's gonna fly until top eight. No, he's gonna pick it up and throw it at me if he wins. He's gonna be like, I didn't think. Or I'd... if you win. I'd... <laughs> he's gonna be like, I didn't think I'd get this top eight. Oh my god. The, I mean, the my path is pretty brutal. So. Anyways. This guy over here makes multiple top eights a year. Says he never plays the game. Facts, though. Alright, kind of facts, though, because I play a lot of those other games with you. Yeah, right. you and me are literally playing Hunt Showdown, or back then it was PUBG, Apex. and then it was Apex. Gears. Um, Gears Now. Yeah. yeah. We don't play Mortal Kombat, apparently, at all. I mean, you're literally living proof that what I'm saying is true. So, like, before Evo is, like, 100% true, where, like, I never saw him on MK. It was always Hunt Showdown for that. Yeah. We always played and, Hunt. And it was en endless hours, and this man went in to Evo, said, I have not played this at all for this amount of time, and I'm like, I actually believe you this time. Because I've heard that before, too. No, I didn't use that multiple times. But that yeah. time it was true. But that time it was true. And he ma made a top eight run, and sending a combo breaker was kind of bullshit there. What do you mean? Like, why is bullshit? They didn't play Mortal Kombat before Kyle Breakers? That was... Am I right or am I wrong? What? Am I, what did you say? I don't know. I don't know. Am I right or am I wrong? Did he, did he practice Mortal Kombat before Kyle Breaker? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Probably. Definitely. Blow his, ass up. Blow his ass up. I, I mean... You literally live with me. A, a little bit. I mean... You, you, you <laughs> it wasn't that much, you though. Sekiro, by the way. Uh, was I not grinding uh, Sekiro? <laughs> I mean, I, it's not like I didn't touch it at all, but like, people that put in six, seven hours a day, that wasn't me. True. That's fact. Okay. All right. You're still funny. But, but there's still more to come. <laughs> still um, so I, I think I think it's going to be close. Again, the matchup definitely definitely uh, says that. And the way that Drew played today was outstanding. Uh, Proud. Yeah. Great. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you some props here. Yeah, I do. Um, Biggie definitely survived the Dark Horse, one of the Dark Horses of the tournament, which yeah. was Zach Robb. Uh, who won multiple Wednesday night fights? I've never been, been really so strong. shaken from, from the West Coast. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Ooh, question. Yeah, I have a question for the audience because the magician is in the audience. Magician. So, so she has a question for you. Your your pool is done for the day, right? Yeah. Okay, they didn't report the results. Yeah. Uh, how did it end up going? Uh, uh, me and Ninja Kill in winners finals. Okay. Okay, so Ninja Kill made it on the winners. Who? Yes. Okay, okay. Those were close mirrors. I, I, so I, I asked, oh, oh, I asked because I one of the big stories that we're going to be following that's here is definitely, like, no, that's what you meant. it's going to be Ninja Kill and, like, oh, yeah. seeing, like, what, how he does it his first, like, actual major, right? That shit, right? Is, that shit is an hour path, actually. Yeah, so our path, the way how it works for us is mm -hmm. that we play, mm -hmm. the winner plays the winner of Forever King and Ninja Killer. If King, the, if, King, if King doesn't get upset, because that's tonight. And he's beaten King before. He beat him at, at the Earthbound Dojo. Dojo first round. So I'm, ex I'm expecting Ninja Kill to beat him. Twice. Oh, so it was twice. He oh, beat yeah. King twice. So then Ninja Kill, I think, is going to beat him. And that means the winner of us that's plays right. the winner of that, which would be Ninja Kill to make top 24 winners. So when you make it to that point, you're in top 24 regardless. The winner of that plays Fox, right? Yes. The winner of that plays Fox for top eight. And then the person that loses, if... Fox wins, the person who loses has to go through, what was it? Most likely Deoxys, if and when he loses, as according to the predictions. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's one that, Samij, no, Samij was predicted to lose. Juan, Juan is in that path, he has to beat someone to beat, he goes up against Deoxys, and then mm -hmm. the winner plays. Oh, that's why Deoxys again? If you lose. In the, if, if the prediction is right, you'll end up playing Deoxys and losers, just don't yep. lose. 
Simple. Don't lose. Super simple. Just hold. So, it's all right. If I play them, it's a 2 1 2 back for me, yep. again. I mean, you already cooked them online. Yeah. So. Twice, by the way. Yeah. We'll so, Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much like the gist of like a lot of what our podcast is, but we're a little bit more organized normally. This is more like yeah, a free flow it's because super it's. Last minute. Yeah, you know, last been, minute, a, a lot of us all now. doing different things here this weekend, but having yeah. fun. Yeah. You know, it's... We like to have fun, and we hope that people watching have, have, have a lot of fun. We're, we're normally drinking a little more belligerent. I know we're belligerent right now, but... I'm it's... also very tired. From yeah, I haven't slept yet. I've, I've, I've been up for 24 hours. Just... Oh, sound effects. Okay, okay. <laughs> Two. That was good. That was good. You should do voice like acting. <laughs> what? That, that. Whatever that's He's gotta retain his voice. Yeah, dude. yeah, that's true. Um, that's true. yeah. Because if I lose my voice, you're gonna fire it. So yeah, keep your job. Yeah, trying. Yeah, for the most part, I think I think we still had good good talks here, and like you know, shout outs to you for bringing us all together. You wanted people that were all friends here, but like different perspectives. Yeah, something and, like that. Yeah, and it works. Just kidding, just kidding. No, 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 we're, we're all really close in the scene. Yeah. Um, and just like I'm sure all of you have met so many people from the FGC, um, and let's just be an example of that. Yeah. I think it's great. Um, and, and if you guys are interested in Mortal Kombat 11 competitively, we try to be as informative as possible. Yes. If you guys don't know about an event, we'll probably teach you about it. Um, we, we also like to use our podcast as a, as a way to uh, promote events we have a lot of locals reach out to us to, to talk about their events. Shout out to mm -hmm. um, Yeah, Armour with the Combat, Combat New Jersey, Jersey. Uh, uh, great C event. CGL, E-League, all those. All e -League. Like, You're all doing a Compact Hub, right? That's a thing, there, isn't it? The, the, there might be another one coming up. Uh, okay. But, 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 but the, 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 the path to Evo. The path, that's what I meant. Okay, we're, we're sorry. It's like a similar like yeah. name or something, yeah, right? Exactly. Uh, they, they, they basically, uh, we, we just partnered up with them to, to give them our name and for people to trust it. Yep. But anyways, uh, so that's, that's that, there's a lot of ways to win trips to Evo that are currently online that we yep. go over all of them, right. how to enter, what to enter, um, all that fun stuff. It's really cool. We're really informative as well as covering this bullshit you guys just listen to. Yep. And before we wrap up, I guess like we have some stuff to give away. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not sure how you want to give away your thing. The, okay. way, the way that I was okay. going to go. Okay, I said I was, I was ill-prepared and I'm bad. It does have the thing. I have the thing physically. I wanted to give away, Here. which is a friendship hat from the Summit of Time. Yeah. Uh, dad hat? Dad, 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 dad hat. The dad hat. The dad hat. Yeah, it's the dad one. What? She needs to rock the dad hat. Yeah, I like the dad hat. I like. I, I like. Dad bod, I, 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 have, I have the dad hat, and I can confirm it's great. Respect, right? Respect, right? I mean, I got that hat. Um, so, yeah, the, right. What I have to give away is compliments of Astro uh, headgear. These they, are these are super rare. These the, are rare. They're from the reveal. The MK11 reveal event in January. So if you guys have Astro A40s, A40s, that's right. I was about to say A30 or 10, and we'd be completely wrong. So ten, tens are the cheap some bitches. To be fair to the people is that, is in the Astro audience, the I don't want somebody to just take oh, shoes that it. doesn't have an Astro A A40 headset. So if you do have an Astro A40 headset or know somebody very close to you that does that would appreciate this, please step up, and I'm gonna basically just pick a number, and whoever's closest to the number will win the. Does, does anybody have a pair of Astro A40s? Does anyone have Astro A40 headsets? What are those? Okay. Gentleman in the back has them. Gentleman in the back? Gentleman in the back? Did you just ask what they are, but you're raising your hand? I was at, I raised my hand. You raised your hand. You asked what they are. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Adrian. Oh, he does? There we go. Don't, don't, don't support him. He downplays. I have Astro. Okay. Do we have a range? Like a number range? Well, you might be the only person. Oh, wait. You have them too? This is about to be an actual 50 50. Are you sure? It's not. That means if he has Astros, too. If you have Astros, then they're yours. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks for coming to our panel. Oh, no. What's the attack? Uh, Ludi. Ludi, of course. Ludi, I actually haven't met you yet. Yeah, awesome. awesome. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. And uh, make sure to shout out Astro if you post about this. So they were very nice and generous to get All right. Us. All right. So. Yeah, so that could be a number if you want to and, you know. All right, let's do it. Something. I don't know. We'll come up with a question. Or you throw your... Oh. Question. Do you oh. Like a question? Oh. Like a, a, a lower MK11 competitive yeah. history question. And then I'll... Uh, First person to raise their hand and guess. Just ask some obscure MK9. Something about points. I know, I know like, half of the, half, like half of the crowd's like, I don't know that, so F you. But, but does everyone want their chance at a friendship hat? Yes. 
not complicated. You gotta come up with something. Alright, then, then maybe we should do a number. Alright, then just make it completely it. random. I mean, it's not, it's, you're getting a little white. Like your game play. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Part of the podcast is. Oh, wow. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> he played Mr. Grimback, I don't give a fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank oh. you. Alright, we're gonna get off track. No one likes picking up this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Do like a random number. Okay, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, you're right. Well, you have a lot of people that can. Alright, alright, I got you. Okay, so uh, I'm, gonna, I'm doing one through. Put a, put a number in on your phone. Yep. Okay, how am I doing this? Just, type, just type a number, show, to, show it to us. Okay, uh, we'll, one through what? One, one through 50. Or one through 20. Or well, there's one through 20. 40? 50? Alright, one through 50. Yeah, one through 50. Just pick a number. Stop looking. Huh? We're supposed to see it. Fuck up. Jackass. Damn. Jackass, he said. Wow. <laughs> okay, I hope you know the people that okay. here cannot see your phone. <laughs> <Fine. laughs> like, They're still trying. Okay, if you would like a chance at winning a stat app, please uh, raise your hand. Okay, and we'll... we'll we gotta remember what all their numbers are. Put your fucking okay? hand down, Complex. All right. All right starting, with, Kyle. starting with Kyle. What's your number, one through fifty? Don't say it right away. Seventeen. Okay. Eighteen. Okay. Thirty-six. Wow. <laughs> Pick again. Adrian. Yeah. One through what? Fifty. Twenty-four. Thirty-six. Forty-five. Okay. It's one to fifty. One to fifty. Yeah. 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 Mystic Ermac player, by the way. Yeah, that's right. Uh, all seriousness, I'll do twenty-one. Okay. Um. Anyone, anyone else? Does anybody else want to guess? Yes. Twenty-three. Okay. Number. Twenty-nine. All right. Okay. Is that it? Is that it? This is. Go to that dude. He said his number. Wait, didn't you already say his number? Yeah, he said his number. He said thirteen. Hey, you said 13. You said 13, right? Didn't you, yeah. Sir? Didn't you say 13? Is it one? Nice. Yeah, we got I need for 13 in the back. Yeah, I fucking respect that one pick. Actually. No, the one pick's savage. One pick is like Alright, so once again, this is for a friendship, uh, summit of time hat. I already know. I know. Yeah. yeah. I do too. Okay, go ahead. Jerry, you can announce it. Gentlemen in the back. Gentlemen in the back, 16. The number was 11. Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, I don't have it on me, so we're about to have a conversation. I, 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 I forgot it in my room. 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 You need to. You really aren't fucking prepared. I'm right here. I'm gonna take that as information. Uh, you need to give him. Just give him your information, and we'll make sure that you get it by the end of the well, weekend. We're done now, so make sure. I'm gonna be here all weekend, we're sir. We're done. Just give him your social security number. Yeah, and the last. Got that give him the last four digits on your credit card, or, and then <laughs> the, the three numbers on the back. Are you gonna be here all weekend? Yeah, I'll be here all weekend. I'll be here. So everybody, uh, it was a very casual episode, but uh, this was the uh, New Out World Order podcast, and you can catch us bi-weekly Monday nights on twitch.tv slash Mr. Is it underscore? Or no, okay, Mr. Aquaman. No underscore.